Hello, I'm Adi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, I'm going to show you how to migrate a MySQL database to a new Amazon Aurora MySQL compatible edition DB cluster using Amazon Simple Storage Service. Let's get started. Restoring a MySQL database to a new Aurora MySQL compatible DB cluster typically involves three steps. Backing up the MySQL database using Pecona Extra Backup Utility, uploading the backup files to an Amazon S3 bucket, and finally, importing the database files from Amazon S3 to a new Aurora MySQL DB cluster. To restore a MySQL backup to Amazon S3, the backup must be done with Pecona Extra Backup Utility. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, Navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console. Confirm the IP or host name of the EC2 instance hosting the MySQL database and then connect to it using SSH. Next, download and install the Pecona Extra Backup Utility from the Pecona website. For MySQL 5.7 migration, you must use Pecuna Extra Backup 2.4. For earlier MySQL versions, use Pecuna Extra Backup 2.3 or 2.4. In this video, we will be backing up a MySQL 5.7 database. This means that we will be installing Pecuna Extra Backup 2.4. Pecuna Extra Backup 2.4. It's now downloaded and I will be installing using YUM. The next step is to backup the database. We must specify the target directory where the backup files will be created. We will be backing up to the on-premise S3 restore backup directory using the stream option to have the backup split into multiple XB stream files. There's also the option to back up the files using the gzip or tar compression options. The backup step is now complete and we can see the files created in the target directory. It's important to note that Aurora MySQL doesn't restore everything from your database. It is a best practice to save the database schema and values for items such as user accounts, functions, stored procedures, and time zone information from your source MySQL database and then add them to your restored Aurora MySQL cluster after it is created. Now that the database backup is complete, we're ready to upload the files generated to Amazon S3. On the AWS Management Console, let's navigate to Amazon S3. I will be creating a bucket for this upload. The Amazon S3 bucket must be in the same region as the Aurora MySQL DB cluster that you will be creating. Now that we have a bucket, I will create a folder in it to all the backup files to be uploaded. We are ready to upload the backup files to the S3 bucket. I will be uploading the files from the command line using the AWS S3 CP command to recursively copy the backup folder from the target directory to Amazon S3 bucket. The database files are now completely uploaded and we can view the contents of the S3 bucket. The final step is to import the database files from the Amazon S3 bucket to a new Aurora MySQL DB cluster. To restore an Amazon Aurora MySQL DB cluster from files on an Amazon S3 bucket, follow these steps. From the AWS Management Console, Open the Amazon Relational Database Service Console. In the top right corner of the Amazon RDS Console, choose the AWS region where you want to create your DB cluster. 
choose the same AWS region as the Amazon S3 bucket that contains your database backup. In the navigation pane, choose databases and then choose restore from S3. The create database by restoring from S3 page appears. Under S3 destination, choose the S3 bucket that contains the backup files. For S3 folder path prefix, enter a file path prefix for the files stored in your Amazon S3 buckets. If you didn't specify prefix, then RDS creates your DB instance using all of the files and folders in the root folder of the S3 bucket. If you do specify prefix, then RDS creates your DB instance using the files and folders in the S3 bucket where the path for the file begins with the specified prefix. Under engine options, for engine type, choose Amazon Aurora. For version, choose the Aurora MySQL engine version for your restored DB instance. For IAM rule, you can choose an existing AWS identity and access management rule. You can also have a new IAM rule created for you by choosing create a new rule. Choose settings for your DB cluster, such as the DB cluster identifier and the login credentials. Customize additional settings for your Aurora MySQL DB clusters needed. Choose Create Database to launch your Aurora DB instance. The restart process is now complete and the cluster is available. We can now connect to the cluster with a MySQL client to confirm that the database is correctly restored. So now you know how to migrate a MySQL database to a new Aurora MySQL DB cluster using Amazon S3. For more information on restoring a MySQL database to a new Aurora MySQL DB cluster, please refer to the documentation link in the video description. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>